Welcome back guys. In this second video, we are going to discover the Canva editor. So for this, we are going to start by using a template. Okay, so I'm scrolling down the home screen right here. I'm going to go for an Instagram story. I want one with a photo. So let's use this one right here. I'm going to tap on it. And Canva will just load that template in the editor. So what we call the Canva editor is this work area here where you can actually start editing and designing, right? So we are going to discover this section of Canva, this part that we call the editor. So from here, there are two things you can do really. The first thing is edit this template. So we can edit any of the elements of this template. This template is actually made out of a bunch of different elements. Uh, we have a photo here. We have a little cap, which is an illustration here. Then we have some text boxes here. One, two, three. And you see this one is a bit different than the other ones because this is actually a group of elements. And I can see that by noticing this button here that says ungroup. So if I tap on ungroup, Canva will ungroup these elements. And now I have one and two different elements that were previously grouped together. So let's see what we can do from this template in terms of editing my elements. The first thing if I tap on one of them is to delete it. So I just tap on the element and then use the button here at the bottom of my screen that says delete. And that's how you can delete elements. Okay, next you can edit them. So for example, this photo right here, I'm going to tap on it and you will see some different buttons here. And really it looks like we only have like four buttons, but no, because you can actually scroll to the right here and see more buttons. So if you feel limited, it might be because you aren't seeing all of the options that you have available to you. So make sure you scroll to the right to see all the buttons. Also, the buttons that you see here will be different if you select another type of element. So for example, a text box, you'll have different options, different buttons. So make sure to explore all of this. So going back to my photo right here, let's tap on it one more time. And I'm going to want to replace this for a photo of mine. So there's a button here that says replace. I'm going to go ahead and tap on that. Once you do, you will uh, see this different menu from Canva where you can choose to upload a photo from your uploads. So these are all the elements you have uploaded into Canva. So it could be photos, could be logos, graphics, everything you have uploaded. And also the things that you have uploaded from your computer, if you sometimes uh, work on the desktop version of Canva. You also have photos. So that's the Canva photo library. And depending on whether you are a pro or a free user, you might see different things here. Uh, you might see some watermark on some of your photos if you are a free user. Or if you're a pro, you will unlock all of the photos here. This is my pro account. So everything is without a watermark. Same with videos. You can tap on video and see all the video clips from the Canva library. You can search any of this. Just tap inside uh, the search bar right here. Or the last option is camera roll. So you can tap on camera roll. And if you don't see your material here, your photos and all the stuff from your camera, it might be because you need to give Canva permission to access these photos. So for that, you will have to head over your settings in your phone and allow Canva to access this material. All right. So for now, I want to show you the different options. If I were to click on this photo right here, it will replace the photo in the template by my photo. So that's pretty cool. Can rearrange a couple of things here, bring the hat to Diana's head. So that's how you edit the different elements. I can do the same. I can edit this text box right here. So very quickly, I have some options available to me here. So if I were to edit this text right here inside this text box, I could just tap on it and then start writing something different. Or I could just simply use the edit button here. So if I tap on the edit button, same thing, uh, let's say walk in the park. Okay, walk in the park, tap on done. And this is how you edit your text boxes. So feel free to explore all of the options right here, all of the buttons right here, scroll to the right to see all the options. So that's the first thing you can do from within the Canva editor is to edit any of the elements just by tapping on them and using these buttons at the bottom of your screen. When you're done, click on the little check button right here. And there you go. The second thing you can do 
from within the Canva editor is to add an element to your design. So for that, tap on that blue button right here that says plus, that will trigger a new menu with some more options for you. So from here, you can browse different things, your template, your uploads, your photos, elements, anything really. So if you were to add another text box, just tap on this text button and you can choose from some preset typography effects that we have created here for you. So for example, if I want to add this one to my design, I would just tap here. But for now, I think I'm happy with just a regular text box. So I'm going to add a heading by tapping on heading right here. So there it is. This is my heading. I can position it wherever I want. And of course, I can change the content of all of this. Once I'm happy, just tap on the check mark right here. So there we go, guys. These are the two types of things you can do from within the Canva editor. You can tap on any of the elements and edit it with the buttons right here. Or you can simply add a new elements by tapping on this blue button and adding an ingredient to your design. And if you want to go back to the home screen, just tap on this little house icon right here. And this should bring you back to the home screen. And this finishes the second video. Thank you for watching, guys. In the next one, we will start editing your design. Don't forget, you can always tap that plus button to add photos, videos, animated stickers, music, text boxes or backgrounds to your designs. 